how to overclock the display on your Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can overclock the display on your Xiaomi Poco F1. What are the things which we need? You need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have a custom recovery like TWRP recovery installed. How do you do both of those things? I have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of this video. The first question which will pop up is why would I want to overclock the display on my POCO F1? For starters it is a personal preference and then it will make your display more fluid and more smooth. So currently the display on the POCO F1 runs at 60 Hz. If I open the application called IDA64 and go into display, you will see that the refresh rate is 60 Hz. I can also open another website which does a test for refresh rate on the display. And even here you will see that it is coming up as 60 FPS, which means it is locked in at 60 frames per second. And you will also see that the refresh rate is also mentioned as 60. We can also open another website which does a test and just click on go. You will see that the refresh rate is coming up or it is hovering between 59 and 60. So the current refresh rate is locked in at 60 hertz. Now, can I show you this difference between an overclocked display and a 60 hertz display on camera? Well, no, that is not possible. Even peeps or even reviewers who have the OnePlus 7 Pro or the Pixel 4 cannot, you know, compare or show you the difference between 60 hertz and 90 hertz on camera. So the Poco F1 can go to a maximum of 71 hertz, and it is next to impossible for me to show you the difference. However, you should be able to see or notice the difference when you install the mod on your own. All this out of the way, how do you get this mod? Well, there are custom kernels which are available for the Poco F1 which let you overclock the display on your POCO F1. Questions about safety and all other things about overclocking your display are answered in the pinned comments. For the purpose of this video, we're going to try out the CES station kernel. The developer makes multiple overclocked kernels for the POCO F1. So you have 71 Hertz, you have 69 Hertz. You can start off with the 79 Hertz kernel and if you face screen freeze issues, you can always go down to the next highest number and see which one works best for you. Why is there no specific kernel for every device? Well, that is because every device is unique and you know, every display is also unique. So not all displays can be overclocked to say 71 Hertz. Now, how do you install this? Well, all you need to do is you need to boot into TWRP recovery. So for that, you need to turn off your device. Once you've turned your phone off, you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TWRP recovery boot logo. Once we are in TWRP recovery, we will click on install. And now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the custom kernel zip file with the overclocked display drivers. Now, in case you download the file on your phone directly, it will be in the download folder. In my case, I transferred it from my computer so they are in the root directory and all you need to do is select the file and then swipe to confirm flash. However, before you do that, I recommend that you go back to the home screen and then you can go into backup and make sure you backup your current kernel. So you can uncheck system and data and make sure that only boot is checked. So boot is your kernel, make sure that is checked and then you can swipe to backup. So what this has done is that it has created a backup of our current kernel in case you want to revert back. Next, we can go back to install and select the 71 Hertz CES station kernel zip file and then swipe to confirm flash. So once the kernel has installed successfully, all you need to do is click on reboot system. Back into Android, we can unlock our device and then open the application IDA64 but as you can see I am having display freeze and that my touch is not working which means that the 71 Hertz kernel is 
not meant for me so i need to boot back into to up recovery and flash the other versions press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till i boot back into to up recovery once you're back in to up recovery you have two options either you can install the next highest overclocked kernel for the poco f1 or in case you want to revert back to your original kernel you can click on restore select an appropriate folder and then it will automatically show up the boot as checked and then all you need to do is swipe to restore we are going to try the next highest one which is the 69 hertz so click on install select the 69 hertz zip file and then swipe to confirm flash once the file has installed successfully click on reboot system back into android we can now try unlocking our device and this time it seems to be performing better open the ida64 application click on display and you will see that the refresh rate is at 69 hertz so after locking and unlocking my device again you can clearly see that the touch is not working which means my poco f1 is one of those which is not ready for 71 hertz neither it is ready for 69 hertz so what i'm going to do next is i will download the next highest or say i'll try the 65 hertz just because i want to show you peeps that it does work all right peeps i'm back i had to flash the 65 hertz version because clearly the 71 and 69 hertz are not working on my poco f1 so if i go into ida 64 now and then i can go into display you will see that the refresh rate is at 65 hertz and we can now lock the device unlock it and bam it is working like a boss we can also open the chrome browser and have a look at the website from the developer himself and click on go you will see that it is locking in at 64 hertz and we can also go to the other website which checks your refresh rate and as you can see it is now calculating it and the fps are at 65 and the refresh rate is at 65 hertz as well so we were successful in overclocking our display refresh rate to 65 hertz again as i mentioned earlier all phones are unique all displays are unique and what refresh rate or what overclocked refresh rate might work for you might not work for me as you could see clearly over here so there it is peeps that is how you overclock the display on your xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you